Hey guys, it's AD Heaven 515 I'm going to show you how to make a little art studio that you can decorate yourself, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So, I've already started making this because I was in the middle of the video and then um, it stopped. So I had to charge it and everything, and yeah. Um, so here's the easel. Um, you can tape up the picture, but I, for some strange reason, I decided to take a safety pin. And it's just cardboard taped up. And uh, before I taped it up, I pinned on this little picture of a stick figure. But I'm sure that you all are going to take more time. Because remember, I was in the middle of the video, so I just had to make a quick quick thing. Here's my little sketchbook. I took a piece of cardboard and uh, this green construction paper and different pieces of paper that I just cut to be the same size. And I put them all on top of the piece of cardboard and stapled it. Yeah. And these are lip gloss brushes that I use for her uh, paint brushes. Um, and I keep the sketch the sketchbook on top of this little crate. It holds all of her paints. These are actually nail polish, but they have to be super, super small. These are by Bon Bons, I think. That's what it says on there. <laughs> You can also use them as fingernail polish for your American Girl, but you can also use them as paint for your lip doll. So yeah, that's your easel and your sketch pad and your paints and the crate to keep them in. And you guys are probably wondering, well, where do I keep the paint brushes? You can either set them on the crate or you can put a pocket on this little apron. So I figured out how to make this apron all by myself. It, well, I figured out how to do the entire thing all by myself, but... I think this is probably the most creative part about it. Um, I cut out this big shape and I put these and these and these and these all. Then I cut out a like a it's like an oval but there's not like a top, it's just cuts off. And it makes like a pocket shape. And then I put a staple on the side, another staple on the side, and then a staple on the bottom, but no staple on the top. That way I can stick the um, paintbrushes in there. So, yeah. And I'm going to see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. Pencil. I'm going to show you guys how to make a pencil. But I have to put this uh, apron on her real quick. Okay, this whole entire thing was inspired by her hair because I did this this morning. And there's blue on one side and pink on the other. I think that was just really punk rockish. Because I'm, I'm customizing her. I'm not going to redo her eyes or like redo her body or anything. I'm just going to like change her clothes, change her hair and things, paint her nails. And I'm going to make a video on how to paint her nails. It's really going to be called How to Pamper Your Live Doll. It's all about like, custom like whenever you customize her, the things you can do to make it more like a, like a spa day. <laughs> so I'll make that video soon. And I'm going to try this on her. So the bottom things that stick out on the side, that's her waist ties. And they tie at her waist. These are the neck ties, the ones on the top. And you tie them around her neck, but not too tight. You don't want to choke her. <laughs> I can smell my lunch. It's almost time to go. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry that I couldn't make everything with you. Cause I, I was making it on the other video, but then... Uh, <laughs> it cut off. I think I accidentally hit like the stop button or whatever. I don't know. But here's how she looks. And she looks different. Bald. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> but there's the apron and it's holding her paintbrushes because I stapled on that pocket. So that's my artist right there. And the pencil. Let me move her real quick. Where'd the toothpick go? Um, oh, there it is. Okay, I was about to say, I'm going to go get another one. <laughs> Okay, so take your toothpick, take some scissors, and these three color markers. Get gray, pink, and yellow. Okay, and you can make as many as you want, but I'm just going to make one right now in the video, and then I'll make some more later. And cut it how big you want it. And you're not going to get this first try, trust me. But, okay, so maybe you might if you have the right scissors. And uh, do whatever you want with that. Um, you can make like a little torch or something, I don't know. Uh, 
but use the point with use the part with the pointy side. Um, and you're gonna color it yellow where it looks like it needs to be colored yellow, like where it needs to start, like where it begins to become straight instead of pointy. Color it yellow. Okay. You prob I probably should have showed you guys the pink part first, but it'll be okay. It'll still work. But make sure you leave a little bit on the bottom to color pink. Okay. And try to make it a really clean cut as best as you can. But if you can't, it's not, it's not going to ruin your entire project. But I think it just looks better off the eraser. Color it pink at the uh, eraser, like at the top, around the edges of it, and that makes like a little eraser, all using a toothpick and markers, that's it, except for the scissors, but those are kind of obvious, and then just color the tip very, very lightly gray, not lightly, but like easily, so that's how you make a little art studio. And I hope you guys like that. Bye-bye. Hope you can make one for yourself.